and Life Blossom. Look at that. Boom! 521. Hey everyone, it's Armor Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Welcome to the moment we've all been waiting for an exclusive first look at the brand new Blossom Mythic Monster. This is going to be the Golden Pass Monster, Queen Zara, everyone. Yes, that is right. She is a nature and light monster. I don't know if there's going to be an animation for her. I don't know if she's even in the Monstergram yet, so we might not even get a talent for her. Hopefully we do. But huge shout out to SPA for giving me everything I need to make this video. They provided the monster. All the cells need to take it to rank 5. Any gems I use will be reimbursed. And they also provided the food to feed this monster all the way to level 150. She looks so incredibly happy. Let's go ahead and place her. And let's see. Animation? No animation? Oh, we do have a full animation. There she is. Queen Zara, anyone? Look at that. She looks stunning. Love the monster design. All right, everyone. It is time to talk about the monster that started the Blossom Era. Queen Zara. Warmaster Zara was the initiator of the Blossom Era, not only because she conducted a magic ritual along with the other forest monsters and changed everything, but also because she was the first one to try a sweet nectar that was previously known to monster kind, unknown to monster kind. After drinking it, she transformed into Queen Zara. So yes, she started the Blossom Era. Let's start off with her traits. So at rank zero, she has an increase, her, her life is increased by 50% for the whole entire game. So take her life stats and give it a 50% increase. She's immune to daze, which I don't think is that relevant, and she does have a status cast of torch immunity, which is pretty powerful. Now, unfortunately, she is susceptible to getting stunned. She's susceptible to getting frozen, possessed, and everything else, right? She doesn't even have an umbrella hardened trait. Once that status cast of torch immunity is gone, she's immune to dots, or she's vulnerable to dots as well. So trait-wise, I'm not a big fan. Um, I wish she would have been like a rank uh, that a monster that had five traits. And maybe they gave her like a permanent torch immunity. That would have made her incredible. A life increase by 50% and a permanent torch immunity? Maybe that's why SP didn't do it. That would have been crazy. Um, yeah, the immune to daze doesn't do much. Maybe even a hardened. She's a, like, she's War Master. She should have Bulwark or something. I don't know. So, um, I don't like that, but whatever. Let's, let's see her stats compared to the other monsters in the game. So, right here we have her combined with all the Doomsday monsters as well. Um, I've mentioned this in other videos, I do not have the info for Silex because I actually I accidentally ranked them up, but that's fine. We can see here that in terms of life stats, compared to the other Blossom Era monsters, she's on the lower end, she's probably the squishiest of the bunch, but then again, she starts the game off with a 50% life increase. So let's see, her life stat, if you increase it by 50% unranked, what is that, um, 1.5 times her base life stat right now, that would be her life stat. So she has an enormous, enormous life stat right why is it that decimal let's move that this way okay there we go so she technically starts to light her lifestyle off with 60k more than everyone else putting everyone else's life to shame but let's remove that for now because we're talking just base info oh let's remove it one more time all right um in terms of her power stats she is actually the strongest monster in the game tied with mr beast eco and elfira and in terms of a speech stats she is down here at 7865, which is tied with that of Thunder Cane Jelly. So speed stat is decent. Compared though to the Blossom Era monsters, you can see she's on the slower end. Right, I think only Silex is below, that's because we don't know him. So, this monster currently has the highest power in the game, and technically, the highest life stat in the game. Alright, let's see how her skills are. So, change skills. I believe this is a monster that can be ran two ways. Um, either more supportive route, or more of an attacker route. So let's see what's better. So, um, just so you know, for for the purposes of an exclusive first look, it's typically always easy to showcase an attacker because they just attack, and it's hardest to showcase a support monster, especially when it's just life regen and stuff like that, because you don't realistically get to use them as much as well in a PvP situation. Um, but with that being said, powerful flower deals modern nature damage, zero, uh, zero cooldown, so you can use this whenever, I'm assuming you have the 30 stamina, Protector Thorns applies life regen to allies. Team life regen that is spammable. We have Aloe Vera Transfusion applies torture immunity to all allies. So it means to torture for the whole team on a one turn cooldown. Um, super useful in a 7 sins meta, but of course if you get hit with nanovirus, you can't. Uh, this won't work to cleanse. Oleander Seeds deals modern nature damage and applies poison. Ooh, I remember this monster actually utilizes reverse healing, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we have this AoE poison and then Life Blossom, a massive light damage. So I will give it up to Queen Zara. The fact that she has a massive light attack 
already gives you a huge advantage against any of the meta dark monsters and there's a lot of them lord inheritor Elfira, like the fact that sp decided to go with making her a dual element of, of of nature and light and giving her a massive light attack that's a good thing sp did all right we have lo end modern nature damage reverse healing to all enemy monsters also a very nice powerful attack if you only had to choose one AoE, I would go with the AoE Reverse Healing. There's so many relics in the game that heal, talents in the game that heal, monsters that will do life regen or just heal. If you're going up against a triple nature team, it's very possible that you LO end and they hurt themselves. So great skill, has a that's why it has a high 3 turn cooldown. Double damage to all allies and heals by 20%. LO better juice. So this one is a good setup skill for you to attack next and maybe you have another attacker. Or, like I said, this monster can be ran two ways. You can go the attacker route or you go with some sort of like team speed route and you run this monster just to reverse healing and to life regen and cleanse dots on your team. We have Orleander Spear. This is a single reverse healing and it's Spamble, which is the next best thing about this. An, a Spamble reverse healing skill that you can target against uh, monsters that have dodge area because obviously your AoE won't work against them. So if I was to run this monster as an attacker, I would go Life Blossom. Um, get your two strong attacks first and spear so we have our massive light keep in mind this one gives life regen to you and to the enemy and the purpose you've given it to the enemy is for the reverse healing i'm not a huge fan of that because the enemies aren't always all going to have reverse healing right so something to keep in mind but we have life blossom plus if they cleanse the reverse healing then they just have a, a life regen for free but it's a good thing that you always when the turn starts, like they immediately, everything kicks in. So if they life regen, they'll, they'll take some damage from that reverse healing. But single reverse healing, I would say run the AoE reverse healing. And for that last and final skill, it's ultimately up to you and what you want to run. I would say the best thing is to set up your double damage because there's going to be situations where maybe you're taking on slumsters and they do evasion at the start and there's an empty monster and you can't bypass them. So this would probably be the best skill set for an attacker setup, Queen Zara. Um, let's see. If you were to run this monster as a team speed holder, like maybe maybe one speed, two team speed, some combination of team speed, the only difference I would make is you would run torture immunity instead. You would run let's see, spamble life regen, reverse healing, spamble, AoE, and put you'd probably yeah, you'd probably just put in a a torture immunity for your team. Um and I don't know if you'd want to run if you're team speed, I don't know if you'd want to run the enemy reverse healing. I think you'd rather, you definitely need the torture immunity somewhere. So that's the biggest difference, but we're going to attack her setup. So Queen Zara, oh, by the way, she can res. So this is really cool. If she was to die, the fact that she comes back to life, I'm actually going to do level 30 because the war is about to start. Um, if she dies, she comes back to life and she doesn't have to worry about stamina. So you're you're good to go. I need it on you. Um, yeah, well, so we'll do this. So gut on stamina. Um, good if she dies she comes back to life and currently I've mentioned this in the other videos there's not really like a great I wonder if this stacks where is max life let's wear this I don't know um yeah so the blossom those will get better as the game progresses um so yeah let's make her an attacker so we're gonna see if I have a level 10 I don't have a level 10 strength we'll do we'll do level 9s we'll use her as a level 9 monster and I'm actually gonna take her to rank 10 or sorry rank 10 <laughs> oh imagine if sp decides they're like ooh, good idea armor now we're gonna take her to rank 5 and just utilize her at her max out potential actually no if you buy the gold legends pass you will get a rank 3 so i want to see what i want you guys to see what she's capable of at rank 3 okay so we're gonna start things off by trying pango for mt to protect everyone and then uriel and then we're also going to replace uriel with narita and we'll see how well they work together the two new blossom nature monsters because that might actually work out really well especially as i can cleanse uh, reapply torture immunities um yeah so we'll see oh look there's a dark monster right there lord inheritor remember for anyone new to the game there's my torture immunity protecting me boom for anyone new to the game um i'm not allowed to win the battles because that would be unfair so if it looks like i'm gonna win i will just be exiting out we're gonna start by getting rid of the the um darn it <laughs> evasion so can't do anything right because of evasion but this is why I said, hey, having the buff skill could be useful. So we're going to buff even on an attacker setup. So now, who thanks to the nature beast, I have a 25% damage boost, a 50% damage boost, and a double damage boost to myself. So I'm going to hit a hard AoE next turn. Wow. So yeah, thanks to the nature beast, um, she's going to be packing a punch, a huge, huge punch. 
Looking at the turn order, I think everything is solid. Um, we're gonna try to stun. You have MT. I gotta get rid of the MT. Good thing I can cleanse next turn. Ooh, seven cents. Ooh, one holes drop. Good thing I have stamina recovery. No, I can't cleanse MT. Oh my gosh, this would have been great. My powerful AoE would have killed everyone, but it's fine. So, LO end. Look at that. Residual kills. I am not even maxed out. I'm 130, but I have all the buffs. Spear, reverse healing, and then this one does 695 with all my buffs. We'll do LO end. Boom. All right, now we've got to kill him again. Doom Nation. I really want to use the light attack on Lord Inheritor. Um, so here, curse, and you're dead. All right, repent sinner. That's fine. Burn blood. That's fine. Let's see. I'll survive. I have my photophobic shield. Gosh, predatory. It's so good. <laughs> Reflect. Cleanse. All right. Moment of truth. So let's just try out spear. 267 and life blossom. Look at that. Boom. 521. But yeah, keep in mind the nature beast is helping me a ton. A ton, a ton. And look, I gave Elvira life regen, which is why I'm a little iffy on this. I kind of actually wish, like, I get the gimmick that SP is going for, but I kind of wish it didn't give life regen. Because for it to work, it implies that I reverse healing on turn one, and then I do it on turn two, which I don't want to do. Um, but here's a, good to, here's a good example of where, like, the AoE reverse healing, why it's better. Um, but just to show you also the nature beast, like, I got rid of the poison thanks to my torture immunity. I wish it would have been a team torture immunity, but it's not. Come on, Zara. But 25% damage boost and damage boost thanks to the beast. Look at my life set. Gosh, I'm 130. This is a one. This is a 142 Uriel that has 430 almost, and I'm 115 almost. Thanks to that 50% permanent life increase. Look at that. Increase max life by 50%. The day's immunity, irrelevant. Um, what are we gonna do? Slumster, irrelevant. Um nature. Yeah, let's let's cleanse, let's get rid of that nature immunity. This is gonna be a tough battle, but maybe thanks to the reverse healing, we can pull it off. So I'll start off with reverse healing. Allo end. Boom. All right, follow me. So cleanse from you. Maybe, 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 maybe I can pull this off. Uh, we're going to do Catholicon. Healthy solid. Ooh, he's hurting himself. Nanite Cloud. Bam. Thank you. So against a triple nature team, the reverse healing mechanic alone is all you need. Take a juice. Watch. I'll single, I'll single target if I can. Rich. Perfect. So we'll do, see, Life Blossom, no point here, but let's just reverse healing right here. Spamble, package bomb, that's fine. Um, you have increased healing. Do you have increased life or increased healing? Positive pack protection, double life. Oh no, let's get rid of that double life. Boom. And Rotten Anchor. I was hoping you'd heal to the sewer. So that cleanses, unfortunately. Catholicon. Um, double damage. I might as well set up. Yeah. So set up, still useful. Boom. Um, now I lost my other buffs. Um, evasion, so we're going to reflect. Olive of the Sea, reverse healing on me take a juice okay we are going to do nothing recharge let's see rich on himself okay good thing on herself follow me my alt reverse healing poison heals okay i can save that for later uh life blossom look attacked but now i gave him life regen and now we need to wait and go until i can do the reverse healing so overall i'm not a fan of it good thing i have a monster that can cleanse that away um and then we're just gonna damage you now i'm just gonna strain my stamina Reverse, right anchor. Okay, cool. I think we can kill Slumster. Then I have my ult I want to showcase, but hello and and good thing it's spammable. That's what I love. Reverse hitting good. Awesome. So Poseidonia, you've lived to see another day. Although I think I will ult you. I will, will, will ult you. Let's uh cleanse. Rich, that's fine. Um, Queen of Nature. Reverse healing. There we go. <laughs> my monster died because of the heal. Okay, but yeah, get to see here. I gotta tell you, the, the Nature Beast really, really is giving her a huge boost. Because, again, she's starting off with a damage boost, 50%, and a small minor boost, 25%. So, even as a 130, she is hitting hard. Gosh, she loves that Nature Beast. Alright, to the sewer. Um, looking at the turn order, I am going to cleanse. Ooh, he might reapply MT. Domination, Sphere of Destiny, barely survived. Mud morgues. Oh no, Frosty says hi. Cool, I get a single target. All right, so let's just go through my skills real quick. Lo end two thirteen k, spear two sixty seven, and then life blossom, otk right there on inheritor. Boom, five hundred twenty one. I'm dealing half a million damage. The beast helps a ton, and that is great though. <laughs> that is great. So if you guys get her at rank three, you will. 
Let me let me remove the beast and see how much damage she's doing without the beast because I know not everyone has her at rank. Not everyone has the beast at rank six, um, or level six, and especially if you're a newer player. And so far, SP made it so only Metro Monster counts towards ranking up your beast. There's seven sins, and again, this is where my torture immunity comes in handy. And that's why if you run a team speed build, that's why you'd want to give her the torture immunity. Um, we're gonna cleanse that away. The torture immunity skill. We're gonna reflect. Slippery road, take that, but then I take seven sins. All right, torture immunity protects me from the dots. I have stamina recovery, I have yet to die, but if I was to die, I'd come back to life. Um, recharge here, there's my stuff. And I think we kill you, boom, Frosty says hi, Frosty says death. All right, Catholicon, and you guys get the idea. Let's, uh, package bomb, yeah, let's uh, get rid of my beast. And the bad thing is, no, sorry guys, if, no, yeah, we'll get rid of the beast. If I get rid of the beast, I can't use it for a while. Um, we'll do the earth. This one increases my strength by 8,000 points, which is also significant. Uh, this one increases strength. This one at the start of the battle increases life. Okay, cool. We'll do this one. So for those of you that don't have any beast or a low-level beast, here, I have base stats now. Um, and let's click fight. Let's see how much weaker she gets from that. Hopefully we see another Lord Inheritor and I can take... Or any Dark Monster so I can see damage. Panic Claws? No. Okay. Oh, Mary Modus. Dark Monster. Cool. So remember, I was doing like half half a mil damage. I think it was like 521. Um, we're going to cleanse right away. Nimbus. See, AI Uriel always does Nimbus. Um, Supreme Fun. Let's see what Mary Modus does. Red Sea Wave. Mud Body Morgs. All right. So uh, that's the buffing skill. LON 114. Spear 142 and Life Blossom 278. Still packing a nice punch, but it's it's definitely not the 521 we we got used to seeing, right? Um, I'm gonna reverse healing. Uh, he'll do Catholicon next turn. Look at that, working on face shield. Uh, let's remove everything again. You're gonna do Catholicon. Oh, Dictum. I don't know why players use that skill. I'm still bewildered by that. Um, I kind of want to hit you just so that. Face shield kicks in. Oh, I can't. Shoot. Okay, now you have to do Catholicon. There it is. All right. Frosty. And then I will reverse healing again. Great that I have a spell on the one. Ooh, take that with your face shield and your life regen. Explosive gifts. Uh, we're going to recharge. Recharge. Surprise gifts. Um, what this is also showcasing is that Uriel, Uriel and an empty monster like Pengo can carry any team. That's also what we're seeing here. Let's cleanse. And then, look at that. Life Blossom 185. Um, here's a good example of, like, AoEs in this meta. It's pointless now. Pointless. Um, 185. Even if I buff, it's not that strong. So I'm just going to utilize Reverse Healing to win. So there's Reverse Healing. Nimbus, look at that. Draining his life slowly and surely. Let's actually curse you. Once he does Catholicon, I'll get back to uh, Reverse Healing. Um, Life Blossom 278. It helps on Teddy Bomb to give him life regen. All right, recharge. Um, we're going to save Catholicon. Uh, Supreme Fun. Yeah, I I'm still... Mm, overall, not a fan of giving the enemy life regen. Again, I get the gimmick. It doesn't work out well, though. I mean, I guess technically it's working out in this case, but only because I was able to hit him first. Uh, honestly, if he was to do it... I kind of want Marimotis to do... Let's buff. Good idea having a yeah, the, I'm liking buff skills more when in this meta. In this meta, when there's gonna be a time when your attacker can't attack, it's better you buff than do nothing. I kind of want Marimotus to empty, that way I can just blast him with my AoE skill. Alright, let's see. Nimbus. Nope. Alright, Catholicon, cleanse, and spear or end? Uh we'll waste the AoE since I have no use for it. Explosive gifts, Catholicon. Uh, pure res. Maybe I can kill with... Yeah, I can. Boom. Tango killing Marimotis. Nice. Uh, Life Blossom. No, we are gonna... We're gonna go after Teddy Bomb. Maybe I shouldn't go after Teddy Bomb. Maybe I should go after Uriel. Let's see if I can stun... Da, 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 da. Curse. We're gonna try to make sure you have no stamina. I like Dragon City. Uh, this is a tough part now. How do I win? I guess we'll, we'll, we'll go after Uriel so he can stop... Uh, reviving and everything. Stun. Oh, stun's blocked. I'm done. Alright, one one more attack ought to do it, I think. 
and then life blossom no it's too weak reverse healing again just for the curse you come back you can revive all right cool we got it we got it here uh, I'll, I'll try to curse curse lands and good awesome so um yeah we'll we'll we'll, we'll. we will continue this just so i can showcase so life blossom gets a heal so first i would want a spear now he has reverse healing um bring back my monster immobilize so now he's stunned now i want a life blossom so now he has it but see the setup it takes too long to actually take in but it works right it works i can reach oh he lost reverse healing um yeah not not a fan but i still like they do have a strong attack a strong light based attack so against dark monsters you're good how long until i can use it again 25 minutes what's the cost to reuse <sighs> for the purpose of this video let's do it all right guys i just paid five gems <laughs> for unnecessary <laughs> all right just so i can showcase this monster completely maxed out again we're not going to show a team speed build because it doesn't really help much um so we're going to max her out and we are going to switch teammates uh so we want to try her out with neraida over here and let's make sure i have we'll do cane of atlantis yeah so this is going to be a fun fun showcase they both have revival um whoops that's not revival part of me maybe should use like a see i i feel like pango is almost needed uh, which one was it was it cole right pango is almost needed to guarantee attacks in and to make sure she can act and react but i want to try maybe without pango maybe we'll try like a taunt monster but oh man you're gonna see it's gonna it's gonna run me into some issues we'll do synthesis just because he's already set up so i'll be right back all right, level 150, Queen Zara, everyone. Let's do this. This is going to be fun. Yeah, so she's really packing a punch. Major Beast really helping her out. Ooh, there is a 150 Lord Inheritor. All right, Spirit Sword, um, Chaotic Wish, Super Tanky, Gauntlet. All right, let's see how strong my AoE is, thanks to my Beast at 150. Actually, I think I'm going to trade Disable. Ooh, I got possessed. And this is why you need Pango. Hopefully, I do an ET skill. No, I didn't. This is why you need Pango. I, I hope this video right here showcased exactly why. Um, hopefully I do a soft skill. Nope. Well, I did, but it's to the team. Uh, recharge. All right. Nimbus. If I die, I come back to life. Look, they all died. Wow. Or they all will die. No, I'll be able to help Zara out. So, good showcase of my potential right here. So, remove negative effects. I can remove positive effects. I can trade disable. Boom. And then I can... I'm going to OTK Lord Inheritor for sure. Life Blossom, look at that. Gosh. All right, let's see. And I lost my buffs. So this is a pure Queen Zara on her own. Level 7 runes. No... Or sorry, level 9 runes. No beast to give me supplemental attack. And I dealt 365k damage. All right. So, yeah. This is... So, sometimes when I make videos, players ask, Armor, how come you always use the same monsters? Sometimes... I just have to based on what the meta is and what I'm constantly going up against and I know what will work and what doesn't work. Um, let's let's see. Let's just 1v3 everyone. Especially against the Uriel. Let's see if I can somehow pull this off. Nimbus, Ruchal's Armor, Lord's Claw. I die, but I come back to life. Boom. All right, she's a fighter. She's a fighter. Boom. All right, Dictum. No. All right, that's as far as I'll get. Resurrection. She tried her best, guys. She tried her best. Spear on herself. Boom. Reverse hitting killed me. All right, so we're putting Pango back in. That's the only way to make it work. If not, that would have been a fun showcase. Yeah, sometimes I, I just know what works and what won't work for PvP. And this is why I'm not a big fan of PvP. You need to use specific set of specific teams. Um, otherwise, you run into trouble. All right. Ooh, we have Pierce. We have a Taunt Mega Taunt. And we have Dodge Area. All right, so good, good, good showcase right here of my potential. So Torture, um, here's a good example of like, even though... Um, this monster has torture immunity for the team. It doesn't matter if you get hit with seven sins nanovirus first uh, But I can go ahead and cleanse. I love this because I get to showcase her potential even more And I mentioned this in her video like I personally believe she's the best blossom monster we have so far um, And then we remove the status caster MT bye bye status caster MT and then we trait disable so bye bye taunt Okay, so now I'm able to attack whoever I want to Look at this guys. Thanks to my beast I am able to OTK Cherub Cupid, dealing 360... He's not maxed out, huh? 
You're 137? 132. Oh, that's because you're not maxed out. They're 130s. But, wow, that's crazy. A Spear actually does 547k against Uriel. And just wait for a stronger Blossom. Blossom for a stronger... Yeah, Blossom Talent. Um, I can also do L.O. End, which kills the two residual monsters. So we'll do that. Boom. Dictum. Oh, poor AI. You're gonna get it. Let's make sure he has Revival. Uh, Flamera Resistance. Good. We are gonna do whatever. Alright. Um, here's Blessing again. Cleanse. My Pangle's back to normal. Trade Disable. I could. I don't need to. We're just gonna Life Regen and reapply the Torture Immunity. Because we can OTK here. Boom. Comes back to life. He's gonna do Dictum again, probably. Oh, Holy Res. Ooh, he actually rest. And doing the AoE. Pierce. Alright. But then I go... Do I need to cleanse anything, or do I need to... Yeah, we need to get rid of the Photophobic Shield. Huh? I actually have... I have, light base, I have a light base attack, so even though you have Purgatory... Yeah, even though you have the Photophobic from Purgatory, it doesn't matter. That's pretty cool. Um, but, let's do this. I I don't know if I still have it or don't have it. Um, poison. Trade simple Poison. Honestly, that might kill you. Yeah, and then, see? I, I it didn't matter. But let's just kill. I want Jared Pupit to actually kill my monster, so let's see if he does. So let's just let him. And then if he doesn't, just for fun, we'll set up double damage. But if he kills me, plus he has elemental advantage, right? He has fire-based attacks. No, I'm still alive. Unbreakable. Ooh, you almost died. That's too scary. Alright, we're exiting now. Okay, so here's what I'll say about here's what here's what I'll say about um Queen's Hour, the more I use her. I didn't think I'd like her as much, but I'm really liking her. Her damage output is insane. It... It helps that she is, of course, a nature monster, so the nature beast gives her a double effect. I'm glad that SP is continuing to use the beast to give them effects. Um, look, torture immunity, even if I didn't have this monster for the area torture immunity, myself torture immunity helps. Her trade isn't the best, but when protected with a pango, um, if you're able to get attacks in and you're able to easily kill monsters left and right. Here's another good showcase. Uh, question one, do I need to cleanse anything? Yeah, sure, let's cleanse the time stop. And no ancient cloak? Actually, there's an ancient cloak. Um, so I don't need to worry so much, but I am going to remove Status Caster MT. Alright. That way I am free to attack with Zara. Um, I'm going to do the Cleanse Life Regen Torch Immunity. I think that's the best play. I can Poison Trade Disable, but, uh, not need- Actually, we're going to do this just so I can do the AoE Reverse Healing, and for sure it lands, and I don't have to worry about Bulwark. So, oh, look, actually dead anyways. Hello end. Boom. So she actually is a top tier monster for offense. Thanks to the Nature Beast. If you have the Nature Beast. Without it, you saw her damage output and how significantly reduced it was. But I am I'm pleasantly surprised. She's also super tanky thanks to the 50% max life increase for the whole game as a trait. Another dark monster. Another, look, Taunt Dodge Area. Good example of Nerai the 2 and her potential. I got hit with a Nano. Aw, poor Nano. Alright, doesn't matter. I do Blessing. Get rid of it. I get an ET. I cleanse the Status Caster MT. And then I trade disable. So now Zara is able to kill whoever she wants or attack whoever she wants. And look at that. 316. 316. Oh my gosh, guys. Powerful. We're do we'll run the spoundable skill. Boom. Dead. Nimbus. AI is dumb. Doesn't revive. Uh, well, I imagine you have seven sins. Don't want to deal with that. I have torture immunity, torture immunity. No torture immunity, but yeah, we'll, we'll exhaust the seven sins. All right. You saw it blocked on Queen Zara. Blessing on myself. And then I don't need to trade disable anyone. Actually, if we trade disable, we can just do an AoE. But no, we'll do the torture immunity. I think I need that. Ooh, Queen Zara. Um, but just spear. Boom. Yeah, so this this showcase. Naradia, phenomenal monster. Best in the era. You see her open up possibilities. The fact that I'm able to replace Uriel and then win battles thanks to her, that's awesome. Look, get rid of that photophobic shield. Get rid of that possession, and then even trade disable poison, so he's dead with dots. And then, yeah, I can now do my alt on both of them. Um, I can do end. Gosh, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm pleasantly liking Queen, Queen Zara. The, the beast helps so much more. We'll do one more attack and call it a day. Um, for those of you that didn't want to buy the Golden Pass because of her, maybe this video changed your mind. Maybe, M my opinion on the Golden Pass is every you should buy it because it's the best value in the game, but... Gosh, this shows her, her damage output, her potential. She is strong. But Neradia makes it possible being able to deal with this, right? Being able to deal with Synthers. And look at the setup I'm running, for anyone curious. It's speed, two team speed, and it's single speed, two strength. And just wait till we get better Blossom talents. We're going to cleanse the curse. Catholicon, that's fine. 
we're gonna remove positive effects. I don't understand um, Ancient Cloak on Uriel. It doesn't do much. Don't don't run that. It, it really won't help much. Um, and then trade disable. And now I'm able to attack. And so Life Blossom kills. Spear kills. If they weren't dodge area monsters, this would kill. Um, we're just gonna do Spear. Boom. And then resed it. All right, the the mud body will kill you, so we're fine. Yeah, I hope it does. Revenge burst. I think that's AOE. Uh, we will shield up, spamble shield, and then did you reapply? Look, you reapply. Get rid of the curse. Look how amazing this is. Get rid of positive effects. Honestly, trade disable Uriel this time. And then L O end. Just because I want to kill Uriel with the reverse healing, I could have trade disabled. Shiv, and then she would have died, too. Recharge. Deadly aim. Chosen prey. She packs a punch right now. She had a damage boost and double damage. All right. Um, What do we do? Oh, my gosh. I don't want to hurt you, but I'm going to hurt you. Boom. Death. Death, death, death. Nimbus. Oh, finally. Gore protection kicked in, so let's see. Uh, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? After being damaged, the warrior's life is below 50 increases, where's max life by... Oh, it's a certain amount of points. So yeah, it's just even stronger. So then I can cleanse the curse. I can... I don't need to remove anything. I could just trade disable poison. That'll kill Uriel. Recharge, so Shiv will hurt me. Oh, that Devil's Fruit helps on her. Pain. Recharge. I hope I die so I can come back to life. Oh, I didn't die. Recharge. Um, honestly, we're just... I could kill C. I could win. We're just going to recharge. We're going to recharge. We're going to recharge. <laughs> Revenge burst. Uh, we're going to heal. I, I want Shiv to kill me. Pain. Deadly aim. Recharge. Come on. I could keep healing if I want to. Pain. Come back to life. Revenge burst. Sorry, I'm back as a dead. But yeah. Honestly, I I'll, I can admit when I'm wrong. When I saw her skill set, I was like, or her, her monster shit, I was like, whatever. But using her in combination with the beast, she packs a punch. She's only going to get better thanks to her... Uh, obviously, thanks to her future Blossom Talents get released. I will say, though, I, I can't say that she's going to be a meta monster. I think she will... I think the, the, the players in the top 100 are still going to use Terra Cupid. They're going to use Elf. They're going to be using Uriel. Um, so, to make Zara work, it really needs to be with an Uriel or Neradia, especially to be able to get rid of the taunt that we've been seeing. But this is why I think this is the best monster in the game. And now we've seen that Zara is a really good attacker. I'm not going to bother showing her as a team speed holder, speed, any of that, like, whatever. But I hope you guys got a good showcase on Queen Zara. And again, maybe, like, you need to buy the Golden Pass if you want to get Queen Zara. I still recommend the Golden Pass. What from what we can see is the talents aren't great from the past. But if you're willing to spend money on the game, $20 gives you the best value for one month. It, it hands down, it does. You get a rank 3 monster. You get speeding boost, hatching boost. You get more donations to the team, extracting boost. It, it, it just gives you so much value. So if you want to spend, I'm not saying you have to spend it, but if you want to spend, honestly, she's a pretty good monster. I, I can't say she's going to be meta. But yeah, guys, I'll leave it with that. She, she's a dark killer too, right? She's a dark monster killer. There's plenty of meta dark monsters as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Thank you very much. And remember to subscribe.